Hi YouTube family, it's super early in the morning. I woke up really early, got the boys off to school on the bus and I'm waiting for a few deliveries today. Today is a really exciting day because as you know, we're going to be building our own wood DIY cabinets for the kitchen, like literally from scratch. I'm so excited, it's something I have always wanted to do and I'm pretty confident that I can do a pretty good job doing it and so I think it's going to save us a substantial amount of money. I've been keeping all of the receipts for how much it costs us for each portion of putting together the kitchen. Even things we need, like replacement for blades, for our tools, every little tiny aspect that we're going to need so that we can calculate everything in the end and know if we met our goal on creating this entire dream kitchen under $5,000. So far, I'm super under budget. And so I'm really proud of how we've been able to really be really thrifty on trying to gather all the supplies that we need, not over buy, but then if we need to go grab something, we can always run out if we need to. Just don't wanna get any extra waste money in the budget and then not need something. So a lot of the things that we've been able to pick up, we can't return. We were able to find our dream backsplash on clearance this week. Literally one fifth of the price that we would have paid if we would have just walked in to get it. Super lucky, they had exactly the right number of boxes we needed to do a huge, large accent wall backsplash behind the kitchen and the wood stove. I'm gonna show you because they just arrived and I wanna show you beside the swatches for the countertop and then to show you what we're doing for the backsplash. So I have not told you yet that we've decided to go with the white with the dark marble line countertop. We were doing sort of like a poll with you guys the other day on if I want to go with a more colorful one or stick with something a little more neutral like this. So obviously each little test swatch piece is going to look a little bit different and also your final piece that you're going to get that's kind of brought in and sent to us, it should be here on the 7th, is going to have you know unique lines on it. But I took, I took two of these from the actual store here so that I could show you guys. So that is the neutral sort of like marble. We're going with a laminate top with a sort of faux marble look on it, which I think is definitely gonna save us a lot of cost in the end after we priced out doing something more like a marble uh, quartz or granite or something. So I really love our decision. I think it's going to be timeless. It's going to last us forever. And then we wanted to have a full wall accent wall and our boxes just got here. And this is going to be the same type of sort of marble line tile. This is porcelain tile. So it's going to be safe behind our wood stove because those are heat resistant. I'm going to take out a couple of these and kind of compare them and show you next to the countertop. So these are the large pieces. This one here is a little dusty from being in the box here because it was the top piece, but I just opened these for the first time and I love them. These are sort of, they all have a little bit of a different line pattern on them. And the idea is that we're going to be butting these together and having zero grout lines and going to make this look seamless all along the back wall. And then the countertop is gonna kind of look like it waterfalls down the wall and onto the counter. So it's gonna kind of all look the same up and over. I'm going to show you where that's going to be in the kitchen. So I am still working on painting the kitchen space here, which is why we have not started the flooring. And this back corner here is where our wood stove is going to go. And there's going to be some tile on the floor there. It's going to have its clearances with the cement boards and everything. And then the porcelain tile is going to go all the way along the wall, supporting back behind the wood stove. It's going to go all the way across this whole wall space, all the wall that you see that isn't windows all underneath here and then up and over and follow all the way to the end wall beside where the pantry is. So this entire wall is going to get covered with that marble porcelain tile. And then the countertop is gonna go from the edge of this window over here and it's gonna go to the center here. The stove's gonna go in the middle and there's gonna be some more countertop on this side and then the wood stove. And then of course, we're going to have our huge island in the middle here, which is also going to have that countertop that matches with the marble look on it. So that is going to be a huge accent wall to support the back wall of the kitchen. Also yesterday when I was online, I was able to find another apron sink. I wanted to have just a single basin apron sink that would go in the pantry laundry room to match the large three foot wide one that we have that's a double basin that will go on the island of the kitchen. And I also wanted to find a faucet that would be very similar style, but not identical to the one in the kitchen. And I really wanted it to have just a little bit of a gooseneck faucet like the one that we're putting in the kitchen space. So I headed to Amazon, hoping that maybe I could find something that was like super good deal because it's not gonna be used as often. It didn't really mind that it wasn't maybe going to be as amazing a quality as the ones for the main use one in the kitchen, but I really wanted it to be the same style. And I was able to find a farmhouse 
apron white sink for a hundred dollars and I was able to find a faucet for only $89 and so that should be arriving also early next week because I was struggling with what I was going to use for that laundry sink I didn't want to use the traditional silver um, stainless steel sink especially when that's what's already there I wanted everything to be changed up and that one's super old and it's really stained and I just wanted to have a fresher look in there so I'm really excited that I was able to get those again on an incredible budget so we have lucked out so far with every material that we've needed to get aside from our lumber because lumber costs right now are absolutely insane uh, our lumber should be arriving today when I was back in Ontario about a year and a half ago buying um, high grade plywood, which is what I'm using for using furniture grade plywood to be able to uh, build the cabinets, I was able to buy a piece for under $50, usually about $38.99. I went to price out and get all the wood that we needed and pieces of furniture grade plywood are $129. 99 so it's a huge increase in lumber prices right now which is definitely going to impact how much it's going to cost us to build our own kitchen i did so much research on whether or not it was going to be cheaper for us to buy a kitchen or make the kitchen and this is definitely going to save us a lot of money even with some of the tool things and things that we need to purchase to support us building the kitchen that most people typically wouldn't have at their exposure like in their shop right so and of course i don't have a wood shop right now so we were able to pick up everything that we needed so far. And right now, I think I'm at about $3,600 out of our $5,000 budget. So that is incredible right now. We are totally under budget with paint, tool supplies, lumber, backsplash, countertop, faucets, sinks, like lighting, absolutely everything that we need so far. I even have the hinges and the hardware and everything um, to be able to show you guys. I'm going to go get the hardware and show you what handles are going to go on the kitchen. There's an animal in the kitchen. There's a what? I, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> There's a Pokemon in my kitchen. There's a Pokemon in the kitchen. Okay, <laughs> I don't have any idea. What are you saying? Okay, go in the pantry room. Yeah. Through, down the hallway. Go quietly because I was trying to back up really quietly so that it wouldn't go anywhere so that oh. you could see it because you're not going to believe me if I tell you that there's literally yeah, a white glass. Pokemon in my pantry. <laughs> Where is it? Um, It was going in and out of the hole in the wall okay. and it's probably underneath the the logs okay um, it's living in the logs okay well i came i saw it peeking in and out of the hole in the wall and then it was walking like on the logs and screaming like into them like really strangely it's all white really really like Cartoony eyes like a Pokemon. Okay, here. And it, I think its tail was dark, but it was moving really fast and it was going like in and out of things. Well, I, don't, it came out, I don't I don't believe you. It came out like here and then went back into the hole. Okay. I'm gonna do my camera. I'll off. set the camera up. If like I backed up really quietly so that Where did he come out of? The hole in the wall. Oh that did. rectangle. He was peering at me. Through the hole. Through the hole. Oh. Okay. And then he thought, or she thought, that I was okay with the Pokemon living in my house. So it came out like, oh, I'm friendly. But I have no idea what kind of animal it is. I've never seen one. Okay. Until now in my pantry. <laughs> like a mouse? No, like, t like ten times as long like, as a mouse. Oh Eight God. times as long as a mouse. It's white? It's white and furry. It's white. And it has little ears and really cartoony looking eyes. <laughs> I, I knew I had to get footage or you were going to not believe me. I'll show you on my phone. But I'm sure you're, when you find it, you're going to know what you found. <laughs> I don't know if it went back in the hole in the wall or I went to scream for you. Of course you were in the coop when it happened, not in the house with me like every other minute of every 24 hours. <laughs> like, do you think I brought it in when I threw all the wood in for no. the storm? Or you think it came in by itself? I think it came in by itself. Okay. Oh, I Maybe I should go down in the basement. You think you heard it? I didn't hear it do anything. There's nothing over here. Okay, did, go wanna, down in the wanna, basement. Is there access from the hole in the wall on the right side? Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe. That's Wait, it was going basement. to the. Um, it's in my basement. Yeah, let's go look. Crikey's! This may be my last time down here. <laughs> Come back to me, Bill. Where would be the hole in the wall in the pantry, the far side? Over here. Yeah. But it's really, like, I need a flashlight. Okay. Like, you know this thing's gonna jump out at me, like... I don't know what kind of animal it is. It scurried. Quickly. Man. It wasn't afraid of me. I don't even know. I was afraid of it. Do you have the flashlight? <laughs> oh, right here. Okay. I was literally just moving all the stuff to the other side, like, from out of the main room, like the dog crates and stuff, and I was just putting it where that wood was that we had left over from the storm, because it, we're going to put the flooring in there. Okay. And as soon as I walked in, this little eyes were watching Whoa. me. Okay, let's keep in going. In my pantry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Currently my kitchen. I mean... It's not surprising that it comes down here because we haven't done anything to the basement yet, so it's kind of free rain. Oh, yeah. It's free rain. Interesting. You literally need to wear a walkie when you go on the property so that when the animals come in the house, I can hold screen for you. Oh, there's insulation packed tight right here. Right up in here, but where are you pointing? Up here, right there. Okay. And there's a lot of footsteps right there. I'm guessing it's living right up there. Awesome. Okay, and it's coming down, and this used to be exposed rock, and now it's a dirt pile. So it's digging a hole somewhere and putting it over oh, top look. of the look it's down here. That goes to There's a hole here going underneath. Okay. Okay. And that goes to sunlight in the kitchen or no? Oh, and look at those teardrop spider eggs. Oh my gosh. Guess what your next project is? Ugh. Coming to work on the basement. I'm going to go back in the kitchen and see if it's. You don't. If you work in here, you don't come back out. We've learned a little bit more about the animal living in our basement, the real life Pokemon. <laughs> little did we know little, it would be. This, yeah, so upon researching what it was, <laughs> we have to get this thing out of the house. It apparently is one of the most ferocious animals living in the woods. It's, so, I, it, it looks eat, a, it will It will literally eat and strangle to suffocate animals ten times its size, like large, snowshoe hairs like you know small dog sized creatures yeah. so we need to make sure for the safety of the animals that live in our house we thought maybe it just came in because of the storm that night so we were like we're just gonna leave it for 24 hours 
see if it just leaves on its own because we did just have that huge storm. We thought maybe it just came in for some warmth and to find some crumbs around or something. Yeah. Um, but that's not the case because we obviously got footage of him yesterday and then he just met me again in the pantry when I went to get my onions out of the pantry. So we need to get rid of them. So I called the local hardware store. They have some animal traps that we can catch and release him. So yeah. Philip can- So these are safe animal traps. We don't want to hurt them. We're going to try and catch the little bugger. And then- <laughs> bugger. <laughs> yeah, We're going to try and catch the little bugger. Stealthy. And then, yeah, he's stealthy. And then we're going to release him uh, far away from the house. Little did we know during the kitchen renovation, we would be taking a short detour to go buy an animal trap. <laughs> I feel like we live in a Disney movie. Every day I wake up and I was like, is there gonna be a squirrel singing in my kitchen? Is there gonna be a ferret singing in my kitchen? Or a weasel? Like, So we've had mice, we had a mole, we had a squirrel, we had a snake, and now a weasel. All in, <laughs> yeah, all in the same room. <laughs> all gonna be in There's your pantry. There's clearly an animal highway hey. into my pantry. So the new plan for pantry, because right now we obviously have no cupboards or no storage or anything. So the items that we bring home from the grocery store are either in the fridge or they're in the boxes and packaging that they came in, in that built-in wardrobe that was in the wall already existing in that pantry room. So when the new pantry is designed and built up, everything will be in containers, not accessible to creatures. Right. So, so far we haven't noticed them mess up with any, like going into any of the food. Even the couple mice that we found, they weren't in any food or anything in the pantry. So that's comforting to know, but they're clearly in there because they can get in the house somewhere. So we're gonna find out where they're coming in. But right now we obviously have an exposed hole in the floor to the basement because we ripped up the old flooring. Like we've made it pretty easy for them to get in if they're gonna get in. Yeah. The other day we were filming and we were driving in a hurricane, a winter hurricane, and the news was saying it's gonna be huge. And it hit kind of down Boston first in the United States and then moved its way up to Canada. So I don't know if the hurricane just died off before it hit us, but it didn't really, do much damage or it wasn't that impactful compared to what yeah it wasn't that much impactful compared to what we've had already but right now it looks like a spring day like the water's melted the sun is shining there's really no snow on the ground at all just ice on the sideline of the ditches there a little bit but our property we really have like no snow at all it looks like a nice, beautiful day for drive to go get an animal trap. What better day to go? <laughs> I'll let you go, just need some time. At your own pace, you need to find your way. He is freaking adorable besides the that he is ferocious. <laughs> Let him be ferocious in the woods. Alicia's cooking us a turkey, which is my favorite meal ever, is homemade cooked turkey. And but we don't eat the neck. So we're gonna feed the neck to the weasel. The we weasel. figure we figured if it always looks for poultry, we read online like the weasels will look for chickens, turkeys. We don't want them to eat our chickens or no. our ducks. Peace offering. <laughs> Please take this neck. <laughs> we figured cooking a nice homemade turkey in the oven while we worked would not only smell good, but that we would be able to make some turkey sandwiches over the next few days while we don't have even a slight operating kitchen. No. And this will hopefully be a nice little meal for this weasel before we put him far away from the English homestead. So the front gate up, the little pin set for the trap inside. And then hopefully he's tempted by the turkey neck. He's gonna go in, he's gonna do his little, I want the turkey neck, feed me. 
So that's all. Let's set this up. <laughs> And you're going to put it in the basement, right? I think I'm going to put it in the dungeon just right by his house. He by might his wake house. Up. Like, yeah. Dayton like, asked if we could name him because he already lives here. He's like, he's living here already. We should give him a name. <laughs> well, if he eats the turkey, his name's going to be Turkey. <laughs>